take place. You know, just because somebody's in your political party and you're going to turn your head and act as though there's nothing wrong uh, causes everyone to be very discouraged. And we have done that as Republicans here recently. So I, don't, I think we not only have a budget crisis, but quite frankly, we do have an ethics crisis in Georgia. So electing a governor who is not a part of the establishment politics, who is willing to question and investigate things based on the facts, would probably also be a very good step in the right direction. And I happen to believe I'm that person. One of the things that we decided early on in my campaign is that we would not accept any campaign contributions for, from political action committees or lobbyists. We've stuck to that. I think we're one of only two campaigns in the governor's race who has uh, made that promise to the people of Georgia. We're very happy to say we have stuck to that. All of our contributions have come from individuals. I believe that's the way that it, uh, it should be, particularly with the way things are going in Georgia government today. Um, I also believe that uh, if you are a state officer, uh, any elected official in the state of Georgia, uh, you should have, uh, uh, you should not be able to accept contributions from those who are in the field that you're supposed to be overseeing. Uh, we've already seen that in the current governor's race with candidates having to give money back uh, because money was funneled through other organizations or other lobbying efforts to get to their campaign directly in the field that they oversee. Uh, I think we should uh, do away with that. I think there should be restrictions on that. Um, and I think that we ought to, to do it right away. Well, let me follow. Would you uh, support what is sometimes referred to as not a cup, cup of coffee law? That is that a lobbyist couldn't even buy you a cup of coffee. It's so as trivial as that. I think that would be the best route to go. And, and of course, that's what South Carolina did back in, I guess, 1996. South Carolina had to no cup of coffee rule because it would because the elected officials so abused this system. Um, but my Republican friends that are here, uh, including those that are on this platform, make no mistake about it, the Democrats this year are going after us on this issue. And you can go to the Democratic state headquarters just around the corner, and they're probably over there talking about it right now. They're, because this is their theme this year is Republican corruption, and we uh, we uh, don't need to be fooled into thinking that that they are not behind a tremendous push in this area. That said, the commissioner has proposed a, an ethics plan that would have basically seven planks to it. One of them is that the ethics commission, which has I think a budget of uh, about about 1.2 million now would not have to go to the legislature to get their money, that it would be independent. Um, and we propose to fund that through lobbyist fees. Uh, so that as lobbyists register, they're paying more than they're, they would pay more than they're paying right now. Uh, candidates would pay uh, part, of, part of a candidate fee that uh, each of you guys will pay. And my boss, when they qualify in April, will pay that there would be a little little extra fee in that. It's going to help fund the lobbyists. Um, it's going to help fund the uh, Ethics Commission uh, to reestablish uh, the rulemaking authority for the Ethics Commission, uh, an ethics course uh, that every legislator should take. Uh, you know, when you're first elected, you come up here to Athens to the to the Georgia Center and you go through a training. Well, you know, there's going to be more ethics training. With that, making this body completely independent self-funded and having the rules that are that are user friendly so the commissioner's laid out a plan and he is he is all for it having more team and being independent wow um, <laughs> tim i hate to tell you but it's not just the democrats talking about commissioner opstein and ethics there's some of us in our party talking about it as well Um, in this state as time goes on. And I want you to know this, um, in, in the legislature, um, I'm on the Appropriations Committee, Ways and Means, Rules, and, and I chaired Governmental Affairs until I got into this, into this race. In, in the last five years, I've accepted a total of about $1,000 in, in meals and entertainment um, from lobbyists, if you will. Uh, $200 of it was for tickets to the aquarium uh, that I gave to students who were coming up to page at the Capitol the day of Charlie Norwood's funeral. Um, I don't think that the no cup of coffee rule works. I think that um, 
that it is too tight. I think that people should be allowed to come uh, speak with you, and if they, I think it should be done more with a glass of milk and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich than it is with uh, $300, $400, $500 meals. So I think $100 is a more reasonable limit. I think that there should be total disclosure, uh, whether it's just a lobbyist that's with you or if it is a uh, executive of an industry that you regulate. Um, I think that those uh, meals should be disclosed. I don't think that anybody in office should be allowed to accept contributions from those people who they do regulate. Uh, we don't allow the Public Service Commission to accept contributions from the utilities, and I don't believe that the insurance commissioner should accept people, should be allowed to accept contributions or meals and entertainment uh, from those that they regulate as well. What I'll tell you is this, ethics is an attitude. I don't need a class to tell me what right and wrong is, nor do most of you in this room, nor do most Georgians. Most of us know the difference in right and wrong, and we were taught it in our homes. We were taught it in our homes. It's an attitude that, that we must carry into the next administration if a Republican is going to win in November. I look forward to carrying that attitude of ethics and transparency into that office and making you proud to have a governor uh, of this state that's a Republican. Thank you. Thank you.